Hey guys, here's my latest build. It's called the PityBot. It's a tool for teaching PID controls. Uh, basically, it's a self balancing robot with three potentiometers with the P, the I, and the D term. And uh, it's got a 3D printed base here. And um, yeah, I'll post that file, it'll be on Thingiverse. Uh, this PCB is custom. Uh, you'll be able to either purchase or purchase this from, I got it from OSH Park, so the files will be on there, or I can just give you the files and you can do your own, it's only a two layer board. Um, this is a 6DOF IMU from SparkFun that has the gyro and the accelerometer. This is a one amp motor controller um, driver board that controls the two motors, it's also from SparkFun. We've got the Arduino Nano here on the back. Uh, it just goes through the through holes in the board which are set up uh, to the correct pins just solder that in. Two LiPo batteries. Um, I did have originally have the uh, voltage booster from SparkFun that would both boost uh, one battery to five volts but it peaks at 600 milliamps and then shuts off and sometimes when these motors kick they will go greater than 600 milliamps so I opt for the two LiPo batteries which gives you about 7.4 volts and gives you a lot more power and everything runs great on that. Uh, then you got the two motors here which are 26 to 1 uh, ratio and two wheels and all that is from SparkFun. This is basically a SparkFun build here. Um, I'm going to show you a demonstration on starting off with uh, all the settings on zero. I'll show you how you get it going and tuning and I'll explain that. Set everything to zero and then you just turn it on here and it won't do anything since all, or all the settings are at zero. And as you turn them up, you'll see it start to come alive. So here's just the P term. And it will start to go crazy if you go too high on that one. And then you start implementing the kind of find a good spot for P. Where it's not too overzealous. You'll see it start to balance, but it's a little bit out of control. Introduce a bit of dampening on that. Now what I have in the program is actually a sort of positioning system. And it will... It'll uh, try to remember its position and stay in that. That's why I have the tape down here. So once I get it tuned out, I can kind of demonstrate that. So that's getting pretty good. Still pretty shaky, but... So now you can see that the, the one light is on. So now that I have the settings kind of okay, I'm going to reset it. And it should try to stay in this section, but it's going to be a little bit shaky because... not too much. Because the spot that it's trying to stay in isn't under PID control, I'm probably going to implement that soon. But, so the place where it wants to be in is going to make it shake because it's going to turn it on and off. But if I can get it demonstrated here. Still no good. All right, shaky now. You can see the light turning on and off. Now if I push it this way, it'll want to go back to that location. Now you can see that there's a bit of a drift on the line. So that's just because the positioning system doesn't have encoders. It's encoderless. So it's going to slowly drift off its location just because it loses its position when it switches sides. You can see you can give a pretty good push. And now you can see it's about an inch off. So every time it'll be a bit off, but this is to keep it from running off the table like I had before. So thanks for watching. 
I'll post the part list and kind of how to build it on my website. So come check it out.